Question for you, really quickly. What is more alarming, an emergency or the moment that you realize the emergency has become so constant that it's just your normal life now? We have been in a housing emergency in Portland for the better half of a decade. And I'm not just speaking figuratively. We have been in a literal emergency. I mean, city council declared that in 2015. When they did that, it automatically loosened certain city codes to make it easier for shelters to pop up or for organized camps to be built or for people to stay off the streets by living in tiny homes or in an RV on a friend's property. Cities usually crack down on that sort of thing, but because of the emergency, Portland made exceptions. It was supposed to help. It was supposed to help us start to fix this problem, but it didn't. Homelessness barely noticed. Now, council is considering a proposal to keep those loosened codes in place permanently, making the emergency codes just plain old codes. Today, they took some public comment on this idea, and it was pretty one-sided. About 100 people signed up, which is a lot. Overwhelmingly, people did not like the idea. Then again, I doubt a lot of homeless people fired up their MacBooks to weigh in. Now, the concerns are vast. They're widespread. One of the flashpoints, though, is kind of around our parks. Now, if approved, it would allow nonprofits and agencies to set up organized camps similar to the Kenton Women's Village, and they could pop up at any park or any open space zone in the city for a maximum of 180 days. Now my inbox is full of messages from people who don't like this, from people who are downright angry about it. They're worried. They're worried about crime and drugs and sanitation in the parks where they bring their kids or they go for a jog. You know the arguments. I mean, you've heard them a thousand times. They're the same ones that we've heard since the beginning of this quote, emergency. But to me, it's a little more than that. It's another example of how, instead of our ideas changing the homeless crisis, we're the ones being changed by it, despite everything we throw at it, even emergency measures. I mean, emergency measures are supposed to be temporary. When you call the fire department to come to your home, you expect them to put out the fire and leave, not build a substation in your driveway. But homelessness has proven once again to be a runaway train. And I understand if you're nervous or if you're upset at the thought of those tracks running through your neighborhood, but don't pretend you can't hear the whistle. The crisis is real. It's heading your way, and so far, it's winning. But there's hope. Once again, there is promised hope. We just passed this landmark homelessness tax that will pump $250 million a year into this battle. By April, they're going to start collecting the money. By summertime, they're going to start spending it. I want to learn a lot more about what they plan to do with this money, how they plan to use it. I hope you do, too. If you do, let me know. We're going to start working on those stories now. Use the hashtag, HeyDan.